Yeah, most definitely here. All right, surprise. We're back. There's the close up on the dudo. Here, I can reset that. Was anybody in chat? Is the real Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, man jump scare. <laughs> 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 From like 20 minutes ago, though. Yeah. So, it was a little bit ago. Oh. Because we, uh. Keyboard. What, it just being cool? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like super drastically oh, no, cool. It's just cool. Pressure on it. It gets cold. Eh, it's a little cool, I guess. I feel it on my keyboard. It's bad. I don't know. On this one, I'll make you run around all weirdly and stuff. <laughs> all right, let's uh see here. So we went and grabbed sandwiches. We were going to go into the inflatable obstacle course thing, but it's the kind of thing where it's like you don't go in there with a group for X amount of time and then go out. It's just, you rent one of the thingamabobs and go in and play stuff there for however long with whoever else happens to be in there. And it's all these super, super, super little kids that if I went in there, I would just barrel over them. Because I'm so tall that I wouldn't notice them. And it's like, yeah, I, let's not tick off any parents. So we kept browsing around and seeing what other things there are here. And the Animathon booth has two Switches set up. One's playing Mario Kart and another was playing Smash Ultimate. So there were these three teenagers that were playing there. So we went up there and we just challenged them to two v threes. And yeah, hopefully it didn't ruin their day. Um, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so doing some two v threes was kind of fun there. Then we went to Subway and we grabbed some sandwiches. And now we're back to grab some food and play some games, but. The next pinball game that I have queued up to play actually only needs like one button. I'm pretty sure I can pause the music now. Listening to Drayton by Curly, the Minecraft remix. Right. But the next pinball game should only need like one button because I just did Pokemon pinball. So you'd think the next thing would be like Pokemon pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. It would be like the next Pokemon pinball game. Well, it is the next Pokemon pinball game. We are going to 2001. See, <laughs> Mythic DM'd me. See rule number one for violation. Trying to show URL on stream. Not sure how Google Drive works, but prefer email not being leaked publicly. All right. The totally official pinball legislation. I mean, I can download the file then. That's what I can do. What is this? I can open this. And then, uh... He sent you a virus. Well, I don't want it to show my legal initials. Harmony Acoustic. Switch to that account here. There we go. Get started with Word. Um, no! Sign in our create account. Can I move this aside? Okay, I can move this aside to activate Office and still see it, basically. So, I mean, it looks like Mythic DM'd me this while we were away of the pinball legislation. Safe states are henceforth banned from all digital pinball games played through emulation. Unless if it was a feature of the original game. You don't need to say if there. Like just unless it, if one vehicle, because I'm a grammar Nazi, if one vehicle to play the game cannot save state, then no vehicles able to play the game are allowed to save state. It results in an unfair experience for everyone. But you could play something like the Nintendo Online old content on the Switch that has save states built in as like an official product. And that's punishable with embarrassment specifically dumb. Shouting Marco in public, dabbing, telling a stranger that you're terrible at pinball while holding a thumbs up, or fitting your pinball career. Shaking, tilting, or moving the pinball machine anyway during play is henceforth banned from pinball games leads to an unfair playing experience. That's a part of pinball strategy though, from what I remember hearing about in the brief video that I saw about pinball history. Punishable with the removal of the arc from the arcade establishment the pinball machine is placed in. Rule 3, breaking the pinball machine is henceforth banned from pinball games. Well, you would think. Shattering the glass cover to access the ball and the play field. It's not only vandalism punishable under federal law, but also cheating that gives an unfair advantage. Punishable under federal law and will result in a permanent ban from pinball career. A single player using a multiplayer mode to play is henceforth banned. It takes machine time and other players could be using. It could be an unfair advantage, allowing the user to gain extra attempts at a high score in one session. Punishable was sitting quietly in a corner facing the wall for the same amount of time the player spent 
playing as any player other than one. Well, I mean, uh... I don't know where her eyes went. Oh, right there. Sure, I'll take blue. Thank you. Good to keep up some energy and stuff here. So is it already open? Open? Nope, should have figured. I was about to say, I was surprised that there was no plastic on that. I guess Sonic drink. I get the Sonic drink? You get the Knuckles drink? Yeah. Let's see here. You get the drink of Dante from the Devil May Cry series. I get the drink of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'll put this here. So it's 5.49 right now, local time. So in an hour, ten minutes, there's going to be Smash Ultimate on the stage that we're hosting. Ah, I shot that, like, right down my throat. You need help? <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to turn like that. Well... <laughs> Do you break the top? Ah, uh, yes. If I break the top, well, I want to succeed, I shall. The next pinball game is probably time to play before the, uh, uh, the thing we're Bob anyway. So you'd think it would be Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire, but turns out there was actually three Pokemon Pinball games, not two. So we're going from 1999 now to 2001. We're going two years into the future, and the thing that we're playing now, if I, um... So, this is a console that exists. Knows. Nuh uh, that's not the rules there. So, for anyone that doesn't know, which I didn't know until like a month ago, there was a console called the Pokemon Mini that Nintendo put out that was just like this tiny little device, basically like a Tamodachi animal kind of little thing with very basic pixelated graphics. And I think that you would buy games for it to still insert into it, and it was just a tiny little itty bitty handheld. And this was from 2001, this game. Like, this isn't as retro as it looks, but because it was just like a tiny little Tamadachi piece of crap, um, this is what it looks like. And because Pokemon Pinball was successful, they made Pokemon Pinball Mini, which is literally for the console called the Pokemon Mini, which was that tiny little device made for people to play Pokemon light games on the tiny little thing. And in this Pokemon Pinball game, you play as Diglett, for a lot of it at least. Pokemon Mini would be fun to own, unfortunately hard to find these days, I would imagine so. Oh, I guess I stole my save data from when I was testing this. So, yeah, I've done these first few levels here. But hey, I'll redo them. I can only play as Diglett here initially. And look, all it is... Whoops. What button do I hit then? Oh, the bumpers, I guess. This is... This is pinball. Is what this is. So, yeah, it's only gonna need the one button. Can I use any bumpers? Nope, I gotta use R specifically. So, yeah. This is life now. This is the playthrough I'm doing now. So, yeah. And Pokemon Mini come in different colors themed around different Pokemon? Probably. I don't know. Well, I'm getting texts. Are they important? Um. Yeah, Guzo being at work. I, uh, we went past this one cafe that apparently sells, like, a lot of Pokemon cards and stuff. And they had, like, a little wheel that you could spin, like, pay some money and spin the wheel and see what you get. Um, and I spun the wheel once, and I got this pack of Pokemon cards that's called Lost Origin, apparently. It's a, oh, it's a Sword and Shield set. Wait, it counts as a Sword and Shield set, but it has the Hisuian Zoroark on it. So I guess it was Gen 4, but this is like before Scarlet and Violet or something like that, so it's still semi-recent. Um, and then my other two spins I got were like $10 discount in the store there on whatever thing. So I said like, yeah, you can just choose like three more packets of whatever you want at that point. I rolled and got the $10 discount, and they were like, okay, you can choose one. And then I rolled again and got another 10 one, and they were like, okay, you can just choose three. So I sent a message to Guzma, because he's thinking about potentially being here in January, maybe around the time of Janlan, and we've done some... Uh, some stuff with Pokemon cards before, and I think that he wants to when he comes again. So I figured I'd just ask him what his favorite things are. And I'm still gonna be here for a while, they're still gonna be here for a while, since, like, the event is still ongoing. So I asked if I could, like, leave and come back when I had an answer. And they were like, yeah, sure, I'll remember that you, uh, have a couple packs to pick up here and stuff. So, yeah, I just said I'm at work right now, I'll get back to you later, which I figured was the case. Figured it was the case. Wah. No rush. As though.
probably be here like four -ish more hours, I think. Something like that. Because it's currently. No, that'd be like three ish more hours. Because it's about to be 6 p.m. Yeah, it's a. Uh, well, we'll see here. And the mall closes at 9, so it'll probably pack up sometime around then. Well. I'll just give, like, the timeline of three-ish more hours. Otherwise, I'm gonna randomly go and pick stuff that looks cool as someone that knows, like, nothing about Pokemon cards anymore nowadays. So, yeah. Imagine spending several weeks, if not months, of your life developing an emulator for the Pokemon Mini. Yep, that has to have been someone at one point. All right, well, he's gone through his full Subway sandwich there. I haven't starred mine, because I was giving this whole shtick. But, like, I'll just eat while this is going on, because that's what has to happen during 24-hour cherry streams. I gotta eat during them sometimes. So we checked out the inflatable thing, we went and did 2v3s at Smash, went and gambled, and then we went and got Subway sandwiches, and then we came back. So that's why I was gone for like a little bit of a hot second here. So that's where we were at. And this is the Pokemon Mini. And I hear the Velvet Room theme playing behind me. <laughs> I can't listen to just this. Screw it. I'm putting the music playlist back on. That's what I'm doing. And when, I feel like once you've started to hear this game, you've basically heard it all. Screw it. I'm muting it. Get music instead. Where'd my music go? Oh. It's going back. It's just quiet. I'll turn up my own volume a little bit. Okay. Custom music. I have future cherry streams donation goal where you have to eat messy foods. I would have to come prepared with that, just in case. I mean, at events like this, I could just go to the food court as we went and specifically pick something out. What would classify as that? I don't want it to get all over my setup, especially when I'm at an event here where I have to, like, clean it up and then pack it up and then go home. Like, I'm far from home here. <laughs> Not like at home where I can just clean stuff up on my own time. That's a little bit difficult. There's a lot of missions in this game. I don't know if I really see myself playing all of them. I do need to get through my stuff here. Especially because I'm kind of behind the schedule of what I had in my mind for the schedule of playing these. Also, I think my one friend knows said that he was going to arrive between like 6.15 and 7. It's 5.56 right now. I should make sure I'm through this sandwich. Ah. Harvey is going to be so sad he missed the mukbang stream. Let me tell you right now. He's gonna be so disappointed. Look, I'm so good. Well, I thought I just did this one. What? What? I thought I did it. Am I losing my mind? Let me thought about the quality of life for the community. Be able to do them together. Would you classify this as pinball? It is called pinball, but I don't know about that. Ah! Do I need to exceed like a certain time if I want to uh, pass it? Or something or other? But yes, everyone's favorite Pokemon hero, Diglett. Everyone's absolute favorite. Come on. Come on. Well, can you believe this was a 2001 game? Wow, my sandwich is getting slightly drippy. Ah. Come on, get in the stupid hole. in there. Oh, come on. You know, for 2025, the legislation will need to be rewritten. The reason why you decided to respectfully ignore your refusal to attempt your accept your punishment because the legislation doesn't actually define what pinball is. Why can't I advance? Do I have to do it in under a minute? Also, on this layout, it's looking like there is a one pixel gap between the capture card and that, that I never noticed before when I was setting this up. All right, so position, move it left one. And there's gonna be one pixel on the right, yep. 
and screw it. It won't, whoops. It won't be a perfect 16 by 9 anymore. I extend it left one. So it's now very slightly stretched by one pixel to the right. Whoops, but that, uh... Did I stretch the right thing? Hold on. So for the this, if I can select it, Elgato, extend its size. There we go. There. Now that should be good, I think. So I have to do this in under a minute? What? Ah! If I don't do it in under a minute, I'm screwed? Pokemon Pinball Mini I'm going to be playing here, really. Because this is ridiculous. Alright, this is the band that is scheduled to play just before us. It's a full band. They've got... Oh. I, I recognize this music. I think this is... Oh. This is Animal Crossing. I can't even hear my own music anymore over this. You probably can. But I cannot. So just take in this. Here, you want a band cam? Or something? I don't know. There's a floor plan. Is that super clear? Sure, you can sort of see it and you can see it's starting to get darker outside. Alright, well, I mean, uh... So I guess I have to retry now. So yeah, this band should be scheduled to play from 6 to 7, and then right at 7 is when I'm scheduled to start with Smash. And then right at 8 is when I'm scheduled to stop with Smash to get another band to go up there. So it's gonna get tight. Gosh dang it, man. This actually sucks. be that bad if I just had to clear it and then just try to get whatever best score you can if you really care but if you have to pass like a minute then what the heck come on oh come on oh there we go come on ah! Ah! this is not how Pokemon pinball mini was meant to be played by our Lord and Savior, Miyamoto. Come on. Come on. You see nothing. You see nothing. This game sucks. Come on, quickly. Assuming you buy the Japanese versions, you've been about 150 USD plus shipping to experience this game on official hardware. That $150 USD includes a Pokemon Mini Smoochum variant, so that's a cheap one, and a Japanese copy of Pokemon Pinball Mini. Sounds so worth it. So dang worth. Ah! Oh, 
I just have an X amount of time to get points. Why is it flying like nowhere now? Come on. No! I forget what theme this is. If this was Bubblegum KK or uh, a different thing. Okay, come on. Come on! What have I done? What have I done? Well, I mean, uh... Come on. Ah! This sucks. Come on. I think the name of this theme is Bubblegum KK, but I could be wrong. Why does it just go like nowhere sometimes? Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that could be some pretty good value there too, admittedly. That could be pretty good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on. This is the time. Yes! Alright. I see now you're at that place. <laughs> Well, now you're at the place where you have to keep in mind the rules of the bar. Do you know the number one rule of the bar? All bubble blowing babies will be beaten senseless by every able bodied patron in the bar. You're not following the rules of every able bodied patron in the bar when they're bubble blowing babies that are blowing bubbles at you and you're not doing anything about it. Blowing babies? Is the guy ever blowing babies? You gotta do something about those bubble blowing babies, those snowmen. So, do I know this theme? I mean, with like all the sound going on here, if I was listening to it, to it through my headphones, it'd be a lot easier to identify. But echoing around the venue here, it's a little bit hard to make out, admittedly. I keep on picking up like hints of different themes here. Do I know what this theme is? Maybe? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Well. I don't know if I know this one. I need eight points. Well. Come on. I hate it so much. Yeah, I don't know what this would be from. This is ridiculous! How do you do this? Like, what? What is wrong with me? Do I just suck a Pokemon Pinball Mini or something here? I 
genuinely have no idea how to do this. Okay. And hit it a little bit early there so it doesn't get as much momentum. Oh my god. This feels impossible. I need eight points. This one, I might just have to accept, isn't gonna be like a full playthrough. Because I don't see this happening. Oh, come on. You know how much time loss that is? I was not expecting this game to be so brutally hard. What is up with it? This has got to break like some sort of pact. You have to do this perfectly. Definitely did. 
Oh, it has like a special charge when I hit it at like full power. I don't know how to consistently hit it at full power. Well, if it ricochets, then I guess I just don't get the three points. If it goes right up the edges like that, then uh, it's not going in anything. Yeah, that one was pretty good. Okay. Come on. One. I actually hate this. I decided to make Minecraft pinball vertical. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to get it, like, not right along the wall, but, um. Gosh dang it. Are you going up to where Melania is? <laughs> Oh, I thought that that was like the road along there. Something out of there where there's a bunch of tree branches. Alright, well. Let's put all this together now. Are they playing Rice for Persona 3? What, sorry? Oh, Miss Godfrey. This is Price from Persona 3. I knew the moment I heard the opening. There's a chart of this piece for Trombone Champ, which is an extremely silly looking game. Which I think is amazing. That's something that I've thought about setting as like a, uh, a milestone for our 24-hour cherry stream, is like, to a night of Trombone Champ, or something like that. Because it would be an extremely silly game to do that with. Oh! Before, but now 
I'm not super hungry. I'm just gonna put them like here in front of my PC, I guess, or something like that. And when my German Valley girlfriend who shows up, he'd just be like, why do you get only like a few chips out of this bag? goodness oh my friend just texted me here <laughs> you're ready for him to see pokemon pinball mini ready for that oh there he is hold on
like this. And that's what I'm playing right now. And it is so bad. If you take over instead. <laughs> trying to beat all the main bosses in Elden Ring, so I set him up <laughs> under me on the same layout, <laughs> so there's something more interesting going on than pinballs sometimes. Um, yeah, I've just been doing this boring thing. I'm trying to catch Pikachu right now, and it looks like there's friendly fire from the other Pikachu. <laughs> it's, it just is what it is here. Oh, I think I know what this theme is, but like... Where do we go? Oh, if you want to donate to my page, I have it on this QR code that I 3D printed. <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't know what was going to be preferred, so... Yeah, for anyone that comes up during my Smash thing, I did 3D print this little bowl for people to put stuff in that is currently just the candy thing. That's <laughs> the, the case here. So I've just had it set up here in case any land people want to come and, uh, like... Grab any stuff, I can put it here for now. Yeah, I think you literally gave your streamer luck. I gave your streamer luck? I just got 1% drops in the world. Nice. But yeah, so I 3D printed that. And then when I set up my little jar, I 3D printed this little tag for donations. <laughs> so people know what that is. So I've been 3D printing this in the past couple days. I've been 3D printing like a bunch of dragons as well. Like, you know, the actual life colors. This is the case. But my uh, coolest one, whoops, that I've been playing around with a little bit of painting on, is this. <laughs> so, that's been my experiment here. Ah, I have so many hats and things now. <laughs>
maybe in some land event we can get us to doing most of it, and then yeah. it comes up and then forget yeah. Blade Mans or something. Yeah. Or even if it's, uh, <laughs> we have to do portions of it just at someone's house one day. Yeah, we could do that. It's always fun to do on, like, land events, but yeah. Yeah. Just because, like, hey, it's an excuse of, like, a fun event to go to. Yeah. And this is probably the most unique one, but, like, I'm going to pinball. games that I'm playing. I plan on playing like some pinball mini games as part of other games here. And I, those can just be at whatever point. Do you want to play Waluigi pinball with me in the new <laughs> Mario Party? <laughs> Potentially, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I have half an hour here before I take over yeah, the stage. Sure. Um, in which case, I might have to unplug you from my capture card. fun. <laughs> Hopefully they <laughs> didn't feel too uh, let down. <laughs> I'll leave Smash there because it's going to have to go right back in for the stage. Yeah. I already have like a dock set up over there. You got 20 minutes. The stage. Yeah. All right, go for the capture card thing now. Oh, go for the capture card thing now. All right, let's see here. Have your video back in a sec here, and then my capture card should now be wow. you on console. Also, I do appreciate you guys coming here and checking stuff out. And my controller bag, I put somewhere around here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna switch to my thing here, and then. I still have a thing set up here called Spongebob Movie. Still on the same layout for like the day that something happens. <laughs> Deactivate, activate. 